Hello, brothers and sisters in Hartwell's family. May you all be blessed. It was during adoration that I was reading over my 33 Days to Morning Glory book, which is a 33-day devotional in consecration to Mary. Blessed Mother asks us all to renew our vows of consecration this year, and I can see a huge difference already. I see that it has been through this consecration and her intercession that I have begun to fall back in love with Jesus my mind thinking of heaven constantly and just wanting to be with him. I also realized how I haven't been as zealous for my mama as I used to, talking to her as I used to, or going to her for all the details of my life as I should. So this consecration also renewed a love for her again. I stared at Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and longed to hear from Blessed Mother. I have a statue of her right next to Jesus and just kept looking and smiling at her. My adoration time is pretty late, and after some time, I found myself dozing off. Then I felt a real strong sense of the Lord wanted to speak to me. Although I was tired, I went to Bible promises and got laziness. So the Lord was chiding me to be diligent to listen to hear what he had to say. So I came before him saying, I'm sorry, Lord. What's on your heart? But our mother of mercy responded instead. My daughter, wake up. This is not the time to sleep. I have so much to tell you and reveal to you. I know you desire to hear from me more. So here I am, my beloved little one, to instruct you, counsel you, and guide you. Thank you for doing your consecration and renewing your vows to me and Jesus. I would like if you do this every year. Do you see how you feel reignited again in my love and zealous for my honor and glory? Yes, mother. It has given me a renewed love for you and made me realize how I still don't go to you as often as I should, but I want to. I want to make it my life habit, for I am your handmaiden, and I have entrusted myself to you, that you may form me into another Christ with the help of your spouse, Holy Spirit. Our mother mercy continued, That I will do, my beloved daughter, so no longer squirm at the fiery trials you find yourself in, or the flames of divine love that continue around you, and in you to purify everything that is not like my son, your savior. These are some of the last stains on your garment in preparation for your mission ahead and the new season you're coming into. Out with the old and in with the new. And that goes for old habits, old ways of thinking, and old ways of sin. I said, Mother, with the wars and rumors of wars, especially with Europe, will I have time for any of this? Will this work come to pass? And I was thinking here of the Russian-Ukraine conflict and the rumor of World War III about to start because of it and wondering if the City of God mission would come to pass. Our Mother of Mercy responded, Of course, my daughter, believe the timing to him and surrender to all that we ask of you, holding nothing back, my beloved little one. It is in the love of your surrender that the Holy Spirit can do his greatest work in you and through you. I want you to work with that soul intently and diligently to finish the Mother of Mercy books given to you. Many will be blessed by them and come to know my motherly love. Pray behind all the work that has been trusted to you and with great courage and boldness move forward. As an aside, she's talking about the two books she put on my heart to do. One is called The Truth About Mary, which is more of an apologetic booklet full of scriptural references to the misguided arguments and denominational beliefs that are about Mary. It will be great for anyone coming out or into the Protestant church to see in scripture where it talks about the Blessed Mother's role, the intercession of the saints, and so forth. The next is called Behold Your Mother, which would be a book with compiled messages from Blessed Mother from Mother Claire and I, so many can come to know her personally, her character, and her motherly love. We've been trying to finish these books for months and want to have it finished by the time the Light from Light event comes around so we can give it out for free. So family, we could use your prayers on this as well. Our Mother Mercy continued, Offer all the Lord permits with perfect tranquility and submission and also cover your family back home fervently. Each of them are moving into new seasons and their need of your prayers to not step on the landmines or get caught in the enemy's traps. The Lord is indeed doing a new thing. Keep your heart and mind fixed on him, praying, 
and just as much praising without ceasing. And that was the end of our Mother of Mercy's message. God bless you, family, until the next message.